In this video, we'll talk about the cure, natural and artificial remedy. There are two basic categories when it comes to insomnia remedies. The first is the artificial remedy. This type of remedy or medicine can be found in the pharmacy and clinic. Artificial remedy usually carries a high cost, but it typically delivers fast results. Most medicines today are toxic, filled with harmful chemicals that are not safe to be consumed for a prolonged period of time. The other kind of remedy is called natural remedy. People have practiced natural medicines for centuries. This type of remedy utilizes the body's natural healing process to cure insomnia. This remedy is often less expensive, but what makes them stand out is the fact that they're not as toxic as artificial remedy. Being aware of the benefits of natural remedy might cause an increasing number of people to use these resources. Regardless of which kind of remedy you choose, the goal is to help you fall asleep and stay asleep. These remedies are meant to aid you to get more rest at night. Most of these remedies will cause drowsiness, so it's best to take them right before bed unless it says otherwise. It's also important to make sure that you talk to a doctor before getting any medication that I'm about to share with you. Isoplicone, or Lunesta. Lunesta helps you fall asleep quickly, and studies show people sleep an average of 7 to 8 hours. Don't take Lunesta unless you're able to get a full night's sleep, as it could cause grogginess. Because of the risk of impairment the next day, the FDA recommends the starting dose of Lunesta be no more than one milligram. Remelteon. This is a sleep medication that works differently than the others. It works by targeting the sleep-wake cycle, not by depressing the central nervous system. It's prescribed for people who have difficulty falling asleep. Rosarem can be prescribed for long-term use, and the drug has shown no evidence of abuse or dependence. Zaliplon or Sonata. Of all the new sleeping pills, Sonata stays active in the body for the shortest amount of time. That means you can try to fall asleep on your own, then if you're still staring at the clock at 2 a.m., you could take it without feeling drowsy in the morning. However, if you tend to wake up during the night, this might not be the best choice for you. Doxapan or Silenor. This sleep drug is approved for use in people who have trouble staying asleep. Silenor may help with sleep maintenance by blocking histamine receptors. Do not take this drug unless you're able to get a full 7 or 8 hours of sleep. Dosage is based on your health, age, and response to therapy. Benzodiazepines. These older sleeping pills, triazolam, which is halcyon, temazepam, or restoril, alprazolam, or Xanax and others, may be useful when you want an insomnia medication that stays in the system longer. All of these are meant to heal the effects of insomnia by staying in the system longer. They are used to treat sleeping problems such as nightmares and sleepwalking. The main problem with these kinds of medications is that they might force you to feel sleepy during the day. They also cause the body to become dependent on the medication. It's important to get a medical evaluation before you take any sleeping pills. Visit the doctor for a thorough examination. Always ask your doctor about potential side effects before making a decision about which sleeping pills to consider taking. Depending on the type, prescription sleeping pills may include side effects such as headache, severe allergic reaction, prolonged drowsiness, to just name a few. On the other hand, some would prefer to go for natural remedies instead. You don't need to resort to pharmaceuticals with dangerous side effects and fatigue upon waking. Use these natural remedies to reset your sleep cycle and end insomnia. 1. Go camping. Having trouble falling asleep? Grab a tent and go camping. Throughout most of human history, humans went to bed shortly after the sun went down and woke up in the morning as it rose. There were candles and later oil lamps, but the light was not very bright, so people went to bed early. According to several studies, campers fell asleep about two hours earlier than usual when denied access to their gadgets and electrical lighting. It's found that artificial light sources can negatively affect circadian rhythms. When the lure of the TV or fiddling on the phone keeps you up late at night, it's time to grab a tent and go camping.
Leave your electronic devices at home. Leave your phone in the car. Take some time to meditate, write, do some yoga. Most importantly, sleep on the ground, not in your camper, your car, or in a cabin. Get grounded. Your goal is to de-stress, to take a break from distractions and EFTs, to avoid artificial light, and to use natural light and magnetic fields to reset your circadian rhythms. 2. Music Therapy Listening to music while sleeping does in fact have benefits worth considering for all ages. Music has the unique ability to soothe us, excite us, and elicit a wide range of emotions. The soothing sleep music helps to reestablish a connection to your sense of inner peace and allows you to feel completely secure and enjoy deeper, more restful sleep. Research has shown that people who listen to calming music before going to bed have improved sleep quality during the night than people who don't. Hence, if you're having trouble falling asleep, this could be a solution. 3. Power down for better sleep. Sleep is not an on and off switch. Your body needs time to unwind and ready itself for shut-eye. Insomniacs will find it very hard to shut down their brain or quiet, anxious, and worrying thoughts when they are on the go before bedtime. You have to separate your day from nighttime. For instance, if you read before heading to bed, your body knows that reading at night signals sleep time. If you take a warm bath before bed every night, your body recognizes that it's time to slow down and relax. During the first 20 minutes, complete any chores that absolutely must get done before bedtime. For the last 20 minutes, lie in bed quietly and meditate. Focus on the rhythm of your breathing and shoo away any negative thoughts during this time. The goal of this power down is to relax your body and prime it for sleep. 4. Sleep in a cool room People with sleep onset insomnia have consistently warmer core body temperature immediately before falling asleep compared to their healthier peers. Thus, this group of insomniacs needs to wait for 2 to 4 hours before their bodies cool down and initiate sleep. Research shows that the optimal temperature for sleep is between 60 to 68 degrees. When you're trying to sleep, your brain loves the cold. Sleeping in a cold bedroom can help release anti-aging hormones. The hormone melatonin is a powerful antioxidant that combats inflammation, protects against cognitive decline in cancers, and strengthens the immune system. It reduces oxidative stress and neurodegeneration, indicating its anti-aging benefits. Sufficient sleep is the key in improving your body's production of melatonin. Creating a conducive sleeping environment, including lowering the room temperature, can help. The hazards of insufficient sleep can put your health and safety at risk. Make changes in your sleeping habits. Start by creating a bedroom conducive to optimal sleep. 5. Break a sweat. Exercise early. It's no secret that exercise improves sleep and overall health, but a published study about sleep shows that the amount of exercise and time of day it's done makes a difference. Researchers found that women who exercised at a moderate intensity for at least 30 minutes each morning, seven days a week, had less trouble sleeping than women who exercise less or later in the day. Morning exercise seems to affect body rhythms that affect sleep quality. One of the reasons for this interplay between exercise and sleep may be body temperature. Your body temperature rises during exercise and takes up to six hours to drop back down to normal. Because cooler body temperatures are linked to better sleep, it's important to give your body time to cool off before bed. Sleep is a crucial part of our health and healing. Take it seriously and seek out the help of a professional medical practitioner if you can't get your sleep under control. Once you get your biological clock reset, your new sleep habits will require discipline, but you'll reap the benefits of a healthy, restful sleep. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.